It's so stupid. <clears throat> so stupid. I'm a PlayStation guy. I'm an Xbox guy. Roll with the Xbox, roll with the PlayStation. It's like, people are so stupid. Let's just start there. People are so stupid. The very concept of an Xbox fanboy or a PlayStation fanboy is stupid. It's stupid. Because if you're a consumer and you just want to be entertained, you just get quality games. You don't get, well, this is when Halo was good, you don't get Halo on PlayStation. So, yeah, you don't get Halo on PlayStation at a time. Yeah, you don't get Uncharted on Xbox. So there are things the PlayStation can give you. There are things that the Xbox can then give you. At a point, PlayStation was where you could just get a whole bunch of games. If you remove the 360, PlayStation, you could always get a whole bunch of games because they were very game-focused. Xbox has a much better, much refined online system. Xbox Live destroys PlayStation. The usability and just the user interface of Xbox has always destroyed PlayStation. I don't know what PS5 is like, but for the most part, Xbox has just always had better online service and better user integration. But PlayStation has just had better games. It is far more game friendly. And I think Xbox has declined with regards to its exclusives. Because let's keep it real. Xbox has only had one truly great exclusive and that was Halo. Should have been Fable, but Fable bricked it. Okay, I don't want really to hear anything about anything. The only exclusive that's Xbox that's average quality was Halo, which was literally a system seller. It was a system seller. But this notion that, oh my gosh, um, because I saw one amazing comment, which was like, this is what it's about. I mean, I love PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation guy. But PS now is trash. It's not good. <laughs> so, but then you have people who just feel as if like, oh no, because I'm a PlayStation guy, I have to defend a service that, you know, objectively may be weaker. From what I've heard from Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and PS Now, from what I've heard, Game Pass sounds like a superior service. And it goes in line with how much better Xbox are with the online service. Where Xbox falls short is the games. You're just, you just don't have the games. It just feels like if software developers much more saying what's up with the PlayStation. But for me, I don't give a crap. Like, I have a Nintendo Switch now, which I'm bloody loving to play. When PlayStation comes out with a game, I'll get a PS5. When Xbox, I have owned, pretty much always, I've owned both systems. I was a PlayStation guy because I thought Xbox was trash. Halo came out, then I got Xbox. I've owned an Xbox, I've owned an A360, I've owned an Xbox One. Okay, I've owned an N64, I've owned a Nintendo Wii, and now I own a Nintendo Switch. I've owned PlayStation, PS2. PS3, PS4. The stupidity of, oh, I don't want to touch Xbox because I'm a PlayStation, I'm not going to get Xbox. What if a good game comes up because Halo is a pretty amazing FPS game? It is. Xbox Live is a very good online service. So why would you, and Game Pass sounds like a pretty good service, so why would you then, as a consumer, because for me, I'm not a gamer. I just like entertainment things and, 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 I, and I just love the um um the entertainment that comes with playing video games that's why I'm not it's like hardcore games I'm like a RPG guy role-playing games MMOs you know sandbox games those are my thing where I can just get lost in a game for like thousands and thousands of hours that's just how I, I like to, to roll so for me is is the game good this game would like for me and like now I wish I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox because games run better and much smoother on the Xbox than they do on the PlayStation. So I just don't understand why you have to have why do you have to have fanboys? Why why do you have to stick to this game's games console and be against this other games console? Just get a game that you enjoy. Like I wanted to play Uncharted. So I get a PlayStation. I want to, to, to play Halo. So I get an X, Xbox. They are exclusives that if you enjoy playing video games, you should play. Like, everyone should play Halo. So if you're a PlayStation guy and you love PlayStation, 
but you also love FPS games and you've never played Halo because it's Xbox, you're very stupid. You're, you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot because Halo, the original Halo games, for me, is the greatest FPS game ever created is Halo 1. Based on the gameplay and just how they understood the law, just of how an FPS should work. So you were denying yourself that you're a moron. I'm, I've been playing Zelda right now on the Switch. And already it's one of the most amazing games I've ever played on a technical level. So you denying yourself that because, oh my gosh, Nintendo is just childish. You're immoral. Because if you just like to be entertained and just like to enjoy yourself and you, and you like to have a great experience, which is what video games give us, but you're not going to play Zelda or Nintendo Switch, you're an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, so the very fans of you being a PS fanboy, an Xbox fanboy, who feels that you're on a crusade to hate on the other console, you are incredibly stupid and thick-headed. Because the whole point is, it doesn't matter what console it is, do they have a good game? And will I enjoy it? As long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Like, subscribe.